All right, so let's get to this first article. This sounds terrible. I'm going to read you the headline as it is on <laughs> CNBC. Okay. A slight drop in mortgage rates didn't stop the bleeding in refinances. Right. I feel like I feel like that's how it should be read. Yeah, the hemorrhaging. <laughs> the, the hemorrhaging. That's next week's headline. They got to they can't just use all of it. They got to stay right. for next week. Yeah. Okay. So what's going on? Higher mortgage rates are hitting the refinance market hard and many may finally take their toll on home buyers mortgage application volume fell 2.2 percent wait <laughs> <laughs> well, well wait i thought it was bleeding wait 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 wait. you're bleeding out mortgage mortgage refinance this is terrible it's bleeding uh 2.2 percent is what it fell wait is compared that for the week previous week yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> compared to the previous week so, <laughs> That's good. That's as a result, applications to refinance a home did decrease a whole 3% for the week and were 32% lower than a year ago. Now, remember last year, that's when rates really started to tank because we were yeah. just into the pandy. We've been now two weeks and a year out. And so they were two weeks into what's going on with the uh, with the pandy. Remember, we can't say the thing because then we'll get tamped down on all the social networks. So we don't actually say the word that <laughs> rhymed with. Arona Iris. So, <laughs> so <laughs> it's a good dish, by the way, at your, at your that's a good dish. I love the Arona Iris at the local uh, pasta shop. So, mm -hmm. uh, we don't even have pasta shops like that in Arkansas, but that would be a good one. Okay. So, oh, man. Uh, remember, that's when rates uh, started to go down. They started to drop, and everyone said, Whoa, we're going to refinance our house. And a lot of people said, We're going to refinance our house because we're not going to sell it this year. And they were taking advantage of historic low rates. Yeah. Uh, and remember, they were like, probably at five, six, seven percent. So they were halving their, you know, if you, if you had well, three and a half percent. I, yes. Yeah. The people that had the homes uh, had bought them at four and a half, five and a half, six percent. They were now yeah. refinancing a year ago. So it was a yeah. huge surge in refinances. So no wonder that we're down 32% compared to a year ago. Uh, quote from Joel Kahn. He's the Mortgage Bankers Association economist. He said, higher mortgage rates continue to shut down refinance activity as the pool of borrowers who can benefit from the refinance further shrinks. In other words, a lot of people who are going to refinance probably already did. Right. Uh, now, now, this is interesting. Mortgage applications to purchase a home were fell 2% fell for the week. Oh. Another slight fall. I mean, that's almost flat. Okay, but that's what flat. were they compared to a year ago? Thirty-nine percent higher. <laughs> <laughs> so, so now remember, uh, same thing I just said. A reason why they were thirty-nine percent higher than a year ago is because we did go through a lull when all of the showing stopped. You remember yeah. the data that Showing Time had released back when everyone liked them. That the showing. <laughs> Just, that was just a slight with the Zillow thing that we've already discussed. Anyway, mm -hmm. <laughs> I still I still use them. I still like them. Uh, anyway, they had some really cool data that they released uh, that showed the decrease in showings right before it started to go back up in April. So this is the time of year a year ago where it was down. So you're going to hear 39% higher than a year ago. Now, don't fret when in four weeks, mortgage application volume is either flat or only one to 2% higher. And you're thinking, whoa, I thought it was like 40% higher than a year ago. We'll see what happens. Uh, yeah. But I think, I think there's a lot of news media that's kind of seeing this dip and saying, oh, it's good now. And then in like two or three weeks, it's going to be all oh, the crash because mortgage application volume will be lower than a year ago because we had a right. huge spike in mortgage application volume. So anyway. Well, and remember, this is about the time, maybe it was a little further into the, the Rona, but it was about the time when we started talking about, is this going to be a V-shaped recovery? Is this going to be a W? And then Gary Keller very cleverly talked about a K-shaped recovery. So it's about that. And you saw that, that, you know, it, right. everything went down and then all of a sudden it came back up very, uh, very quickly. So, you know, it's interesting. And by the way, I, I think they should rename this uh, article and just call it. If somebody wanted to uh, refire their home, they probably probably already have. Yeah, that's, that's be the headline of the article. Yeah. All right. So that is the uh, refinance story. If anyone wants to talk about that story uh, specifically, just raise your hand. We'll bring you up to the stage and you can add a couple of words on that. I don't see anyone in the clubhouse, but we do have a couple of comments. Michelle West says, yay, I got you. I must have joined another Beardman club. Lucky me. Yeah, she couldn't find us on Clubhouse. So she's like, <laughs> all right. Oops. Oh, good. Is she in there? 
oh cool we should bring her up to the stage i don't think I'm, i'll have to find her in there and follow her on clubhouse too okay and then uh let's see antonio Sala. now he is from clubhouse and he's joining us now through facebook so welcome he says what up gentlemen debbie Russ miller says hey so i think this is a good non-story which is why there's not a lot of compliments on it i'm not surprised compliments there's not a lot of comments on it either uh, because it's yeah. really not not that big of a story uh basically the um the rates dipped a little compared to last week but that really didn't help refis okay it was only two percent and, off and even when you take that 32 percent number when you really think about it it's not that big a deal it's not that big of a deal e even the 39 percent higher than a year ago that's also not that yeah. big of a deal because not the, really the that happened during this time period so we really need yeah. to get on the like three weeks out and then we'll see what's kind of happening but then it'll be a false high last year i don't know it, well there's no right. way to like, you know, usually they do seasonal adjustments, adjustments for holidays. There's no way you could do like a pandy adjustment. Yeah, a Rona adjustment. Yeah, but we'll be here to break down the news as it as it hits. So don't worry, That's we right. got you.